And what's up my subscribers, so today I will just do a small test. So there is a lot of people that ask me, hey, why don't you use pet like, so I decide to buy, to buy. I just uh, borrow these four to someone, which is Ferris in this case. And just to show you like with and without pets, what is the real difference when you have a lot of rebirths? Okay, so after a certain point in the game, you don't need pets anymore. Uh, it really does not change that much. So first test, it will be to kill the strongest uh, monster of the game right now, which is the boss in the winner, uh, in the winner, in the wizard zone. So if I kill this guy here, I have 2.6 times 14, all right? So it 2.6, let's try to seem a little more uh, decimal. So 2.607, 2.607. So I will just put it there, 2.607, all right? So now I will equip the, the four strongest mono pets that you can't, uh, that does not cost Robux, of course. So the best pets, it's the bunny, but they cost like 10,000 Robux, so whatever. So now I have four gladiator, okay? So let's just see the difference of the gold high horn with this. So this is, what the, okay, I just swing in the, in the void. 2.747. Two point seven four seven. So this is the real difference. Okay, so I just went to um, two point six zero oh seven to divide by. Is that the right way to calculate it? Oops, not uh, this. Two point seven four seven. Yeah, it's not exactly the the right way, but I have to do one minus this. So it's five point one percent increase. Like. Roughly, if I do 2.607 times 5.0, oh wait, I'm done, 1.0501, it should give around 2.747. It's not exactly this, but you can see that it's roughly an increase of, um, oh, it's, it was 5.1, so I, I just need to redo this. Okay, my bad. My bad. It's 2.607 times 1.051. So 2.740, which is pretty much similar to this first. So if I equip the four best pets in the game, of course I don't have power up or like more of them, but it's 5% increase pretty much with uh, 1.7. Uh, with this amount of rebirth, so 1738 rebirths, it increased my stat, my money by 5%. So each of them increased my money by 1.25%. And again, it's only based on my rebirths. If I add double of this rebirth, it will increase my stat by 2.5% because I would have like way more rebirths than what the pet give you. It does not multiplicate. multiplicate. So, uh, Oh, you're right, I could, this guy just told me, I could have done also like 2, 7, minus 2, uh, what was my first number? 2, 6, oh, 7, and then I divide this number by the, the, the biggest of the two, right? Am I wrong? 50 point, no, I'm wrong. Okay, I'm just wrong. Never mind. don't listen to me. It was just a, it did not say that, but uh, it's, I wanted to show the percentage. I did not want to, uh, there is some people on stream right now and I, you just can't see the message because it's a recording, but yeah. So I just wanted to, wanted to show you the difference with and without pet when you have over a thousand rebirth. It's not that crazy, all right? So this is why I never use pet, especially when you grind rebirth you lose them every time if you don't have the, the game pass. So you don't really need pets that much. When you start, they will, they will really increase your your stat because they are worth around, uh, like this one is worth, it's 750 per rebirth, right? So each rebirth you get 750 for crystal XP and money and then zero the, the damage, I mean, pets don't do that. So 750, if you want to know how much rebirth they replaced, so it's, you divide like this by, oops, I made too much. Oh wait, is, was it too much? No, it was fine. Divide by 750. So roughly this pet give 
23 rebirth so this one of them is equivalent of 23 rebirths of farm so that's why it's like almost 100 rebirth which is not that big difference when you have 1.7 thousand rebirths all right so that will be it for this video and i wish you a good one